Welcome to For Life TV and the Appetite for Life. My name is Michael Kristen, and today, today we're going to be doing the pineapple cucumber gazpacho. Super refreshing, super easy to put together, and let's get started. Hi guys, so today we're going to be doing the pineapple and cucumber gazpacho. Now gazpacho comes to us from Spain, which is kind of a national soup. And so this is a really wicked combination because it incorporates different things and that's kind of what I'm all about. I love pineapple, I love the cucumber, the watery texture that cucumber can actually provide. Doesn't have a lot of flavor and that's why we're adding a little bit of heat to it and cilantro and stuff like that. So let me show you how it's done. For this recipe, I'm gonna need a number of different ingredients. I'm gonna need cucumber, I'm gonna need pineapple, chopped cilantro, diced jalapeno and green onion, some lime juice, some raw macadamias that you wanna chop up and use as a garnish on top. And here, uh, in this bowl, I have pineapple juice and cucumber juice, which have been actually blended and put together. So, and then a part of this is, uh, this is my new love, Parthena extra virgin olive oil. It is 100% olive oil and it is just absolutely off the hook. So if you really wanna do something good for your body, this is what you wanna use. And now comes the best part about it is putting it all together. So we're putting in the diced cucumber. Then we've got the diced pineapple. Give it that beautiful sweetness. Some cilantro. Then we have the jalapeno and the green onion. And then a shot of the lime juice. There you go. Some salt and pepper. Because it is sweet and it is savory. And then a nice drizzle of the olive oil on top. And now it's just a matter of really kind of mixing it all together and incorporating all the flavors because that's what this is. It's every ingredient has its own flavor and it's looking good. This is what I love. All right, there you go. So thank you very much for joining me. I had so much fun putting this entire thing together. It is a cold soup, so you want to chill it in the fridge for a couple of hours before you serve it, because that's what the intention is. Don't forget to check out social media, Facebook, Appetite for Life, my website. There's a ton of recipes that you have full access to, and I really want to inspire you to make that change. Next week, next week, I'm doing a fennel salad. I'm so excited because it's so easy and it's so flavorful because this is what I'm about, nourishing mind and body one life at a time. We'll see you next week.